learning his fate, a retired Detroit firefighter is sentenced for shooting at a black teenager who came to his home just simply looking for directions. And that story does top our news at noon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Evrod Cassidy. This is a video from inside of the courtroom in Pontiac. 14 year old Brennan Walker told police that he missed a school bus. This was back on April 12th and knocked on Jeffrey Ziegler's door in Rochester Hills after getting lost while walking. While well, the teen says that he ran after seeing the man inside the house grab a gun. Ziegler was convicted by a jury last month of assault and a gun crime. Local force Nick Monticelli was in the courtroom for his sentencing today. And Nick, how did he react once that sentencing came down? There wasn't much of a reaction. I think they expected it. It was the length of the sentencing, four to ten years. And I think what the nail in the coffin was obviously the home video, but also the fact that there was a misdemeanor charge back in 2004, a road rage incident, where again he fired a gun at somebody else. I do apologize for my actions. I have full remorse and regret. And um, I wish I could change something, but we can't go back in time. Today's sentencing was the first time we've heard from Jeff Ziegler, the man found guilty of assault with intent to do great bodily harm and felony firearms charges, all stemming from this. In April, 16 year old Brennan Walker missed his school bus and got lost walking to school in Rochester Hills. So he knocked on the Ziegler home asking for directions. Instead, he was shot at. The Ziegler home had been broken into a few times before, so today, Brennan's mother brought up the elephant in the room. I tried to keep race out of it, but we, we all know, you know, that's, that's pretty much what it was. It's not fair for people to dislike us about something that we can't control. I, if, if, if there was a, a button that I could press for me to pick what color I could be, just so I wouldn't have to deal with this type of stuff, I would have to be your color so I, wouldn't, so I could survive. During the trial, Ziegler said he tripped and the shotgun he was holding accidentally went off. His home security camera recorded the entire thing and the jury did not believe the story, finding him guilty. This is the, probably the worst piece of evidence that we had against us for the most part. So, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's, uh, and it's ironic that, it, you know, he puts it up there for protection and unfortunately it's one, one piece of evidence that uh, was, it was a telling factor. He stopped at that house because they had a neighborhood watch sign. So what do I tell him? Don't don't stop at neighborhood watch doors. Don't knock on the door, you know, when you need help. So again, four to 10 years in a state prison. Now he could appeal, but it sounds like he's not going to or at least hasn't talked to his defense attorney about that. Now coming up on local four news at five o'clock, we're hearing for the first time from Brennan's father, who was overseas fighting for this country in Syria. When all of this happened again, that's at five. In Pontiac, Nick Monticelli, Local 4.